Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're having a look at The Crust, which, I'm just going to level with you, is my most anticipated automation game slash factory builder. This is a Mooner factory builder, a Lunar factory builder. Uh, you build a factory on slash underground uh, in the moon. Anyway, I'm going to jump into things, and as ever, I'm going to do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. This is a build that you will be able to play uh, as part of the Steam Next Fest. The last time that a build of this game was up on Steam, uh, it went down at the end of the festival, so if you want to play the game, make sure that you download it now and you play it now, uh, or as soon as it is available. Anyway, uh, right, so uh, I I would thoroughly recommend that when you play through this game, you play through the campaign mode. Um, it shows uh, a little bit of story, a little bit of, uh, I guess, a little bit of background to the premise uh, that we are in. Now, I'm going to be playing through on the sandbox mode just because it's kind of like the game without the tutorial and the early stages of the campaign slash new game are tutorial. Anyway, uh, what have we got? Well, we start, we start with literally one structure on the surface of the moon and we're going to be building up massive production chains. We're going to be doing a whole lot of excavation and a whole lot of fun stuff. This is an elevator. The cool thing about this game is that you have got surface stuff, you've got a surface mode, uh, and then we also have the underground mode. So this is the bottom of the elevator, and we are going to be going between them because... You believe you better believe it that uh, that we're going to be mining a whole bunch of stuff down here, and we're going to be we're going to be expanding this area. So anyway, yeah, that's what we're that's what we're going to do. So uh, a couple of things to note straight from the outset: we've got some credits, we've got a power grid which is filled with zero power at the moment. We've got battery storage. I'm actually going to pause because uh, the daytime is really really important on the surface of the moon. Believe it or not, uh, we've got water, we've got oxygen, uh, we've got drones, colonists, communication channels, global reputation, and then we've got all uh, of our various research points. Now, um, what we're going to do in the first instance is bring down a couple of different cargo pods. So these are cargo pods from our corporate overlords back on Earth that are going to help us facilitate uh, the complete transformation of the moon. So three cargo pods, each cargo pod controls, or I should I say, contains something very, very useful. This is a bunch of resources to get us started. Uh, this cargo pod is eight of these very, very, very cool looking little drones, which is fantastic. Uh, they are going to be the backbone of literally our entire uh, operation. And then we also have a rover scout here, which we are going to be using to explore. That's right, the surface of the moon. This is where our base is. There's a whole bunch of stuff on the uh, on the dark side of the moon. If you play through the campaign, then you're going to get even more sort of like specific story-led uh, missions and expedition uh, bits and bobs that you can explore. So yeah, again, I'd recommend that you play through on the story. Now, uh, what have we got? What are we going to build in the first instance? Well, let's go into our production menu and see what we've got. Now, we don't have any research selected. We'll worry about that in just a second. Uh, we've got a couple of different categories. The first category is mining, probably the most important category or one of the most important categories categories. This is a drone configuration module. Uh, if we build this down in the underground, this is actually going to allow us to convert our regular drones into mining drones. So let's unpause and let's let our drones start to disseminate all of the different uh, all of the different resources. We've got our specific building resources down the side here. We've got smart concrete, which looks suspiciously like a bunch of bricks to me. Uh, that's fine. We've got steel, we've got silicon, we've got titanium, we've got aluminium or aluminum, uh, we've got titanium plates, rare earth elements, components, micro circuits, carbon fiber, food, and fuel. Now, we're going to be able to build all of these in due course, but uh, but for now, uh, we just have to we just have to accept that we've got a few we got a few we got a few here and um, they're probably irreplaceable. Anyway, mining we've already taken care of that. The drone reconfiguration module will be up and running. Production we've got nothing in the production category yet. We do have uh, we do have electricity infrastructure, which is very very handy. Uh, I'm actually going to start building. I think we'll build maybe five solar panels, and we're also going to build batteries because believe it or not. Uh, there is a dark side of the moon, and there is definitely a dark phase of the moon. I'm also going to build a, a charging station here, which allows the drones to be charged. Very, very simple. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these fantastic little little droids doing exactly what they need to be doing. 
Excellent. Anyway, uh, that's all going to get built up, which is fantastic. Very, very happy. We will jump into two times speed and probably jump into four times speed very, very shortly indeed. Uh, but the other thing that we will need to consider uh, is wiring stuff up. So uh, this game has got conveyor belts. This game has got wiring. This game has got underground. This game has literally everything that you'd expect a, a flipping high quality factory management game, factory builder game to have. It's really, really good. Anyway, uh, we need to wire up our infrastructure. The wiring system is under unbelievably simple. You can see how many connections each and every type of uh, different building can have here. We wire up everything. Happy days. We make sure that it's connected to the charging station. We'll actually build a pillar there just to just to allow us to make a few additional connections because the pillar allows us to have more connections than any of these specific buildings. But yeah, I mean, all of the infrastructure is set up, and as soon as this battery is built, then we should start to we should start to charge the batteries. Now, this is the the sort of like little little uh, little charge thingy for batteries. And we should start to see it accumulate, uh, which is really, really nice. Basically, there is this little, little lunar phase monitor over here. This is going to be very, very handy because we need to know when uh, when we're in darkness versus when we are in, uh, in, in lightness in the day. Anyway, um, this is the infrastructure that we have on the top here. I do need to do one very, very important thing, and that is to connect. Uh, do I want to do that over there? No, I don't want to do it direct. We'll do it indirectly. Uh, via uh, a, a pylon there. That's pretty handy. So we can plumb our electricity network into our elevator. Uh, that basically means that at the bottom underground here, uh, we will have the ability to connect in all of our underground infrastructure to the elevator, which connects up to our surface level our surface level power, which is quite nice. And then there we go. That should disappear momentarily. It did happy days. So what does this thing do? Very, very simple. It allows us to convert to mining drones. So I'm going to convert half of my existing, uh, I guess, movement drones into mining drones. They will emerge looking looking beefy. These are some Chad, these are some Chad drones. Um, anyway, what these Chad drones actually do, if we go into excavation mode, we can literally just start to excavate. We can start to excavate the literal underground of the moon. Uh, and that's something that these that these drones are going to do. Now, there is some uh, different wall types, you know, that, that I don't think they're able to, uh, I don't think they're able to break through this, through this type of rock, not yet anyway. Uh, but there's also, there's also some ore here. We need to scan it with the ore scanner first. Well, we'll get to research in just a second. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be doing some ore scanning. Anyway, I think that's all of the buildings that I have a, a, a access to at the moment. There's some storage buildings, single resource type storage, general storage. I might get some general storage, nothing in logistics. Uh, there is some science labs, which I don't think I can get quite yet. Um, life support, again, we can only build that uh, inside, and these are all a bunch of inside structures anyway, and we don't have the ability to uh, to do anything like that. So that is that is fine. Uh, right, let's chat research. What have we got? Well, research research is interesting. We've got three tech trees. We've got the fundamental tech tree, uh, robot mining speed, automatic repairs, medium solar panels, uh, electric generator, landing platform. Uh, we've got engineering and specifically regolith pressing, which is the first thing that we're actually going to start researching. Uh, this is going to unlock the pressing module, which is going to allow us to make smart concrete or glorified bricks, as I like to say. And then we've also got the social tree, which is living rooms, ice melting technology, uh, license for access to the tender system WIP. Okay, we'll get to all, we'll get to all of this. We'll get to all of this and more. Uh, there we go. Do we automatically unlock this? We automatically unlock this regolith pressing. No, we're we're gonna work our way through it. Okay, uh, let's head back up to the surface and then let's explore the surface of the moon. So the way that this rover skirt uh, that this rover scout works is we can tell it to leave the base, which means it's gonna trundle off to some point over there in the uh, in the distance uh, and once it does it's actually going to appear on this uh, on this big old map here which I'm pretty excited to see uh, because we do need we do need some additional points and the way that we get points is by sending this rover out and about into the big wide world so very very important that we get that uh, as swiftly as possible there we go you have disappeared fantastic and we can actually start to see that yeah we are making we're making some uh, some money we've got some income income coming in from the rover uh, we're spending some of the uh, some of the the orange stuff because that is our middle tech tree our engineering tech tree it's costing us engineering points that's fine now rover you are officially on the on the big map let's see what we've got 
storage, server hub, broken rover, storage, storage, mineral extraction complex. Should we go to the broken rover? Let's go to the broken rover. We'll send the we'll send the scout across here and we'll go and get you we'll go and get you investigated. Nice. Okay, so that is that is pretty much a very very brief synopsis of the way that the mechanics of the game work. Uh we're probably going to build some more solar infrastructure soon because we're going to need lots more power. We're definitely going to need lots of underground uh capability. We're going to need lots and lots of underground stuff. I'm very very excited to get that all built. Uh but we're going to need we're going to need to get some more research. We're going to make some uh, some serious headway on uh, on research. Uh, pretty darn soon. Right, let's select our next research pretty much immediately. What have we got? Uh, smelting and processing, geophysical prospecting, and underground extraction. We'll get prospecting first, because that's going to unlock what is called the ore detector. And the ore detector is going to allow us to, that's right, you guessed it, detect some ore. Anyway, let's get this pressing module, shall we? Let's get this pressing module. Let's get it over... Let's get it over here. So what this is going to do... Eh, Maybe over here, actually. Uh, what this is gonna do? I need, I need some, I need some space. Okay, we'll put it, we'll put it here. Let's, let's split the difference. Anyway, uh, what this is gonna do is that it is gonna take regolith. That is this stuff that we are extracting from the walls. Very, very sort of like basic moon rock. Uh, we'll hook it up, of course, and it's gonna turn it into smart concrete bricks it's gonna turn it into bricks so that is gonna be that is gonna be a building material for us very very nice uh research we finished the ore scanner let's get smelting and processing it's gonna take a little bit longer to uh to get done but that's okay there's no particular rush to get it done now uh the what did we unlock we unlocked the ore scanner which are the ore detector which is right here so let's build this and then let's immediately put it to use because squeeze it in there, can't get it right next to the wall, unfortunately, but we can squeeze it in there. That's fine. Anyway, build the ore detector, and then uh, we can get to we can get to play around with this thing. This is a very very cool bit of kit. I got to be honest. There we go. There we go. So the ore detector works very very simply. Uh, it has uh, it it basically just takes the the, the battery charge level, uh, which is kind of cool. And we can actually just send a big old pulse out into the into the unknown. Now, uh, if we send out a, a deep and long pulse, then we will get a very very short sort of beam. If we send out a if we send out a short fat pulse, which is what I'm going to do, probably probably something like that, it's going to consume a little bit less energy, and also it's going to give us. Um, it's going to give us a, a view of what is close by. Now, as I kind of anticipated, as I kind of anticipated, we've got an iron deposit here. And you can actually see the breakdown of the deposit right there. Uh, so you can see that steel, well, steel in an iron deposit, I, I'm not quite sure that makes sense. But iron in an iron deposit um, is, is, is nice. If I go into ex or excavation mode, uh, we can actually go priority zone and say, hey, drones, excavate this area as a priority. I don't want to adjust the, uh, the regular sort of like dig orders, but we'll excavate this area as a priority so that we can get all of that, uh, all of that done, which would be quite nice indeed. Uh, we are still manufacturing these smart concrete things. That's great. And in fact, I think... Oh yeah, look, we're uh, we're in the dark. We're in the dark upstairs. So we've got 22.3 days. I think that should I think that should do us. But, you know, we're going to have to build we're going to have to build more more power infrastructure uh, for the next for the next cycle. Because it's it's a long time. It's a long time that we're that we're actually in the dark for. Especially if I'm now using more power. Anyway, the rover is idle. What's going on here? There's a broken rover. There's a broken rover over, over here with composites and rare earth minerals. Uh, unfortunately, the rover can't actually carry anything, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I mean, we can max out some resources, but like... Yeah, we can't do it with the we can't do it with the rover. Uh, it gives resources. Solar panel field. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Broken rover. Uh, anything? Hold on. Anything, anything else nearby? Storage, private lab. Let's go to the private lab. Let's go to the private lab. I want to see what's, I want to see what's over there. It might be some more research points, and if it's more research points, then I would be, I'd be very, very interested. Okay, that's looking good. Anything else that we need to get done immediately right now? No, uh, I guess we can probably start to think about getting some additional solar panels. Do I have the capability to build many more of these? I do. It costs two. It costs two silicon, two silicon a piece. 
three, four, five. Costs two silicon a piece, so we do need to bear that in mind. But honestly, I'm not super concerned about using some of my silicon in order to make that happen. I'm also going to start getting some general storage. This takes one steel and two smart bricks. We'll build two of those over there. We're going to be getting steel, like, very, very shortly. Um, steel is steel is literally, like, sort of next on our list of things to, things to get done. So I'm not anticipating too many problems on that front. Go... Nice. And then... Beautiful. Across there. Fantastic. Okay, again, I don't think it's really... I don't think that's going to make a huge difference to the grand scheme of things, but hopefully our current supplies will last until... Hopefully our current supplies will last until uh, the sun comes back up. Right. Research-wise, smelting and processing, we got that done. Underground extraction, let's get that done. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, the thing that we just unlocked, it's very simple. It's a, it's a furnace. It's very, it's very, very cool. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to build a furnace. We're going to build a furnace over here. Uh, the reason that we're going to build it over here, let me think about this. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to build it here for good reason uh, that will become clear in just a second. But let's build the smelting furnace and then let's sort of start moving towards manual, manual extraction and manual processing. So, uh, once this has all been built, I suspect that, yeah, upstairs it looks like everybody everybody was focusing on, uh, ooh, how are we doing, 14 days, lasts for 14 days. Not enough power to run the module. Yeah, I actually don't want to connect you in quite yet, because if I connect you in, then that's going to mean that we are going to run out of power a little bit more rapidly than perhaps I would like. Yeah, so it looks like it's about 14 days. I think it's about 14 days in the light 14 days in the dark so i guess that would be half a month half a month is in half a month is in darkness half a month is in is in brightness i mean if my if my rudimentary calculations are correct we should have enough we should have enough power but that's okay how is my little rover doing the little rover that could supply outpost storage server hub i'd like to go to the server hub after the private lab yeah we we definitely need to get some better we need to get some better uh, exploration kit that's for that's for sure anyway uh, the smelting furnace has been has been built uh titan titanium uh, steel uh, aluminium and silicon we're going to be utilizing we're going to be utilizing um we're going to be utilizing steel. Now, the way that we get iron oxide is very, very simple. We go into excavation mode and we can actually assign mining drones to work at this specific uh, source uh, right here. Uh, or, uh, as we are currently doing, we can research the underground extraction uh, research, which is which is exactly what I'm doing, and that's going to allow us to uh, to automatically extract from this iron deposit here. We've got 10% of our batteries left. We're just about coming into the... We're just about coming into the day. Okay. Also, everything, like, just... Everything degrades over time. So you constantly need to, you know, beware the fact that there is uh, repairs that may need to be... That may need to be undertaken at any given time. Right. How's my little drone... Uh, my little drone... My little, uh... My little scout doing? It's doing okay. Right. I'm gonna brave it. I'm gonna connect... I'm gonna connect this up here. Connect that up over there. And also, the mining drones are now completely idle. That is that is bold. Okay, let's let's see if we can start moving to here, right? Moving to there, and also I'm going to assign two drones to go and work on extraction of this resource, uh, the iron resource, which is quite nice. Now, uh, these these chumps are going to immediately, there we go, extract iron oxide. That is going to be moved over to the smelting furnace. And as soon as there is nine, uh, there is going to be three bits of three bits of steel that are uh, that are waiting for me, which is really, really nice indeed. Oh, we're starting to actually generate power now. That's, that is really nice. That is really, really nice. Do I want to get, do I want to get some more? Do I want to get some more uh, solar panels? You know what? I kind of kind of think that I actually do. Let's get lots and lots of solar panels. I don't know why, but I feel like I rate solar panels more importantly than than the batteries. Okay, and then 
a very consistent method of uh, connecting up everything here, but we'll get all of that built. Nice. Uh, Rover is idle. What did you find? You find anything there? Uh, we got some water ice. Crash cargo pod, server hub. Go to the server hub. Let's see. Let's see what you've got over there. Now, again, if you're playing through this, um, if you're playing through this in the uh, in the campaign, module needs repair. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of steel to get repaired. That's fine. We're at ninety six percent on the research. That's real cool. Let's get that done. And then let's move forward. There we go. That's all looking nice. Okay, next thing that we want to get done is the single regolith refinery. Uh, that is going to take a little bit of time to get done, but hopefully not too, too long. Because that's a pretty important bit of kit. Now, if we zip downstairs again, we can have a little look. Are we actually making, are we actually making any steel? I think we are. I think the steel has just been moved away. There we go. It's definitely, it's definitely happening. Definitely happening indeed. Now, I would love to get an extractor right over here. Uh, we rotate it around. Perfect. Cells overlap 9 out of 9. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can move that back just a, just a smidge. There is, there is rationale. There is rationale to this thought. Because I would quite like to get... I'd quite like to get a bit of kit. I'd quite like to get a bit of kit right in the middle here. Um, I think we might be able to squeeze it in. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, right? Uh, could I get could I get some more could I get some more batteries, please? We're probably not going to need as many batteries as we are solar panels, but honestly, given the fact that it's dark for literally half the time, I feel like it's only prudent. There we go. You can never have too much power. Nice. And there is no power over here. Again, this is going to start to take, you know, a significant amount of power to, to get this all uh, up and running, but that's fine. Anyway, the interesting thing, if I go... Oh, actually, we're going to need to assign some new stuff to excavate. Can I get, can I get some more ore exploration done? Anything interesting out there? Iron and silicon. So no, that's okay. Uh, what about over here? Anything interesting out over there? Aluminium, ice. Okay, I mean, I'm interested over here. Silicon and anything over there. Lots and lots of iron. I, I think I've scanned here already. Lots and lots of iron, a little bit of silicon, aluminium up here. I think we need to go, I think we need to go and try and find the aluminium, right? Sure. I mean, we always need to have these uh, these guys doing something. Anyway, uh, the extractor is extracting, which is really, really nice. Um, although, unfortunately, unfortunately, the extractor is only is only extracting regolith at the moment. I mean, it's good quality regolith, which is uh, which is great. Like it's it's regolith that we're going to be able to turn into uh, into into steel at some point. But in order to facilitate that, we are going to need the single regolith refinery, which is why it is so darned important that we uh, that we do indeed get that done. Now, how's my how's my drone doing? Mineral extraction complex. Yeah, again, there's lots of lots of resources that we've discovered, although nothing that we can actually do to bring them back home to the base not yet anyway not yet okay keep on keep on keeping on there not enough resources to start production yeah that's going to be the case for a little while not enough resources to build the module what do we need silicon yeah so we will set up we will set up the ability to uh to get silicon over here in fact let's let's see if we can try and look at it right now mining extractor yep we'll get this over here and then we'll get the We'll get the single regolith. What do we got? Server hub. We got fuel. We've got water ice. Crash cargo pod. Let's go crash cargo pod. Sure. Go crash cargo pod. It's quite nearby. There is storage over there. Maybe I should be going to the storage first. Eh, we can worry about that. We can worry about that later. It's fine. It's fine. Right. That would be great to get done. Fantastic. Production storage is full. Yep, we've got plenty of regolith. We're 69% of the way towards our research objective, which is cool. 
Uh, is there anything else that I can do to facilitate faster research? No. I mean, a basic science lab would be ideal, but we can't build that unless it's inside. And uh, let me tell you, uh, we're still we're still in the outside world of the uh, of of the moon here. Again, if you're playing through on the campaign mode, then you're introduced to all of these elements. You're introduced to all of the sort of different research uh, notes in much better time. I would say we've got 68 days worth of batteries remaining. Batteries are good for another 68. Slipping between 68 and 80 days. Honestly, that sounds fine to me. There's no point, by the way, in powering this up. I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Uh, should I maybe cancel the production of these? I feel like I should. Yeah, let's cancel, cancel all of those just so that we have a few additional bits of silicon just in case. I don't think that we need silicon for anything right now, but, you know, we might... Is that all connected in? That is all connected in, so that's fine. Right. That's good. We are fine. We're 89% of the way towards our next next level crash cargo pod. To be honest, I should get you to... I should get you to go to the crash cargo pod. I mean, yeah, might as well go to the crash cargo pod, see what's, see what's over there. Okay, that's fine. Supply outpost... Go to the supply outpost, then storage, then storage, solar panel field mineral, mineral extraction complex, broken rover. Yeah, nothing, nothing really, nothing really over there. Okay, so yeah, we've explored all that. We're going to continue to explore. Uh, oh, let's get the, let's get the single regolith extractor. We'll start work on the next, what is this, rolling mill, durable. Let's get conveyors. Conveyors would be good to get. Although, actually... I would like the landing. I would like the landing pad. That would be useful. That would be really, really useful. Let's get the landing platform. It says it's going to take 26 days. That's a little bit of a, little bit of a long time. Anyway, production, uh, not production. It is single regolith, single regolith refinery. This is a super useful bit of kit for us. Produces rare earth elements from rare earth minerals. Now, if I'm able to squeeze this in here, I mean, it doesn't need to be in directly, but that is fine. We squeeze this in here like so, and actually, do we have conveyor belts? We don't have conveyor belts unlocked at the moment. Am I researching conveyor belts? I haven't. I'm, I'm not researching conveyor belts. I would really like to research conveyor belts. We'll, we'll queue that up uh, because it's going to be much, much easier with conveyor belts. I also need to get some additional silicon. And that is going to be a problem unless we disassemble some of these batteries. But honestly, we only need to disassemble like three. Um, and to be fair, that's probably overkill anyway. So we'll yoink the silicon back from uh, from those. Uh, we'll get the single regolith refinery for... Uh, that's for iron. And then we will also do the same for... Oops. Also do the same... For you... Excellent. And we will select the recipe on this one to be iron oxide. So we're going to extract the iron oxide from this extracted mineral stuff over here. And then for you, we are going to choose uh, silic silicon oxide, uh, I believe, because this is going to be the good silicon deposit. Uh, I'm also going to queue up an extraction of this area over here. There we go. Just so that we got a little bit more space to play around with. That to me seems quite important. How's our rover doing? Supply outpost. Storage. There we go. We'll go and get that. Survivor's camp, private lab, anything. Solar panel field storage. I guess we're going to do that storage next. As I say, lots and lots of resources, but we do not have we do not have a vehicle that we can actually utilize to to collect those uh, to collect those resources yet. If you're playing through on the campaign, uh, you do get access to you do get access to something like that. You do get access to a hauling vehicle, which is pretty darn cool. Very very useful, in fact. Uh, right, the only element of the game that we haven't actually talked about quite yet is the commerce center. Now, the commerce center is going to become useful uh, once we get ourselves uh, a landing panel. Uh, it's basically going to allow us to uh, to send some resources, uh, to send some resources. Yeah, deliver titanium for some of this stuff, uh, which is kind of cool. Is there anything on the market that we can we can buy that looks potentially useful? We can buy some more robots. Do I want to buy some more robots? 
I tell you what I might. I tell you what I might. Uh, select contract logistics. Yeah, we can we can set up logistics in order to in order to get this all sorted. Uh, in order to get contracts sorted, that is definitely something that I would like to do. Do you want to buy want to buy more robots? I mean, these are pretty darn expensive. These are pretty darn expensive. These things, two cargo pods, uh, two uh, two robots. They cost thirty grand a piece. I mean. We do not have sufficient funds for that. Two additional, literally two additional robots in order to... That would... That, that is... That is... That is big. That is big and expensive. Right. Let's go to this storage over here. Again, I can't, can't really do much until we get... Uh, until we get... Until we get some ability to, uh, to move this stuff around. Let's see if we can try and go back underground and get this extracted. There we go. That's all looking good. Conveyor belts were more than 50% of the way there, which is quite nice. Right. We should be processing. We should be processing this now, but we're not because of power. Of course we're not. Didn't hook that all up. Can't do that. Okay. How about this? Nice. Nice. Okay, lots and lots and lots of stuff is going to be coming online here. We should be able to manufacture as much silicon as we could possibly want. Uh, we are going to need to get an additional smelting furnace. Uh, yeah, which I haven't actually built yet, but I can build right now. Build that smelting furnace right here. Build it level with our existing smelting furnace. That's fine. Make sure that we ch uh, connect silicon up as the recipe, which is great. Idle rover, anything of interest? No, still nothing that we can do. Prerequisites, three robots. Let's go. Let's go send. Let's go send our robot to the nearest, to the nearest storage facility. There might be. There might be. Uh, there might be something there that we need. There might be something there that we need. That's fine. Right. Okay. Not enough resources to start production. That should disappear soon. Module needs repair. We will set that up to be repaired. What's the other thing? We need steel to repair that. We need silicon to repair that. That is fine. Uh, you will be connected with the old power cable. Beautiful. And as soon as we start getting, as soon as we start getting some power cables, I am going to, I'm going to be happy. How's this all looking? It's all looking good. Obviously, it's all it's all configured in such a way that, like, I am ready, so ready to get some some conveyors linked in here, and we're close. Believe me, we're flipping close, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Alas, we are uh, we are not there yet. It's not the end of the world, though. Right? Are you back up? You back up here? Excellent. Good, 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 good. You're you're moving you're moving towards you're moving towards where we need to be going. Excellent. Right. Lots and lots of modules needing to be repaired. Queue it all up. We should be making we should be making enough silicon. We should be making enough silicon to, to get everything going. There we go. Nice. Lots and lots of slag. Lots and lots and lots of slag. We should have more than enough power to keep to keep us going for a very, very long time. In fact, what I think we're going to do, we're going to turn down the number of extractor bots and we're going to try and reinvigorate our logistics team a little bit. Make sure that's repaired as well. That is all looking good. That is all looking good. All right. Uh, I'll be back with you once we get conveyors all sorted because I cannot wait for conveyors to be ready. Alrighty, we're back. 100% of the way towards solar panels. No, not solar panels. Uh, conveyor belts, which is really, really nice. Anything that I want to get right now? Not particularly. Anything in engineering? Smart concrete factory? Components factory? Rolling mill? Regolith upgrades? Increases extractor yield? Unlocks technology to drill impenetrable areas? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's really, really useful. Not something that I particularly need right now. Uh, WIP tender system. Uh, I've also unlocked the... I've also unlocked the landing panels, which is kind of cool. Robot mining speed, automatic repairs, medium solar panels, electric generator. 
Uh, I need to just pick something, to be honest. Expedition Control Center. The problem is, is that I don't think we have, yeah, we don't have any of the, the other production type. Give me automatic repairs, sure. 24 days, a little bit a little bit of a long time, but hey-ho. Anyway, uh, let's get conveyor belts, shall we? Let's get conveyor belts, and let's see if we can try and connect everything up. So, the way that it works uh, is unbelievably simple. It really, really is. Now, of course, we could buffer this if we want to. Like, we do have the ability to build, uh, to build like, intermediary or intermediary uh, bits and bobs. But honestly, it's just a case of joining them up and just letting it letting it get done it costs us a few credits in order to build the conveyor belts but other than that it is it's basically a completely flawless system it works so unbelievably well it works really 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 nicely uh can i build anything i oh yeah i need to build a landing platform don't i let's have a little look landing platform let's get that built we'll build that over here so anything else that i can't build all right is there anything else that i haven't built that i can build a projector. I don't need to build a projector. I'm fine. We can build, um, you know, we can build other stuff here on the top, uh, on the surface, but I don't need to. We'll get the landing platform and we'll see what this entails for us. Uh, I'm working towards automatic repair, I'm inside. Yeah, that's going to be really, really nice. That is going to be really, really nice. Uh, my drone, my drone, my, um, my scout is still exploring around here. There's still a whole bunch of there's still a whole bunch of stuff. We have robots as a prerequisite. I mean, look, this is all fine. It's all fine and dandy, right? Uh, however, we just do not have the ability to pick up any of these resources. Uh, they're just literally unpickupable, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. But uh, as I say, is like if we were playing through in the main campaign, it would be fine. Right. Awaiting a new load on the landing platform of uh, the landing platform that we just built. Happy days. Now, if I go into the Commerce Center and have a little look, can we maybe get ourselves a concrete? Foundation for a better future. Contract for the supply of smart concrete for the construction of new accommodation for people in need. And also, we get ourselves some science. 700 smart concrete over the course of 40 days. Honestly, I think we can actually make that happen. Uh, do I want to send, do I want to send all of my smart concrete? I mean, we could send all of our smart concrete over the course of, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of landing pads. Uh, let's do it though. So how many can we send? We can send about, we can send about 400. Wait, I don't have 400 though. Yeah, I don't have 400. Uh, well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to get more. Let's, let's, let's see if we can try and get more, uh, smart concrete in order to facilitate that. Uh, we're going to make sure that this is all repaired. This needs to be automated as well. If we could get, if we could get regolith, we get more regolith. That would be great. Pressing module, excellent there and there. Let's get two more, and then we can actually get ourselves some bulk storage. Storage for a solid resource of 512 units. The real question is, does regolith count as a? solid storage. I'm not sure that it does. I think we need to get, I think we need to get bulk storage. Let's get it right here. And actually, tell you what, let me, let me demolish you. And let me demolish you. I know that we just built you, but honestly, I'm thinking that I maybe want to get, maybe want to get, a, I want to get three pressing modules in configuration like so. Regolith will select the resource. Absolutely happy with that. And we'll get some conveyors. Literally, just like so. Fantastic. It's going to cost me about 10k to get that, but... Honestly, it's probably worth it. Rover that's idle. You've still got nothing. Let's go start the expedition. As I say, loads and loads of resources here. None are... Gives resources, requires survey. Requires resources. We need to throw resources into that one. Everything, literally everything requires a survey here. So, precious little that we can unfortunately do on the, on the surface at the moment. But as I say, if you're playing through, uh, if you're playing through in the, uh, in the main game mode, then you won't have any issues with this. Right. Plumb that all in. Excellent. So, is my conveyor system working here? There we go. Get that built. That built. 
Wonderful. Okay, we don't have any of the sort of sophisticated distribution systems, so it's literally a case of, you know, just what we've got is is what we have at the moment. However, as long as we throw as long as we throw regolith in here, we should be we should be completely fine. This is all looking good. I mean, everything is sort of slaggy at the moment. Um, I mean, we could change that if we want to, um, but I I think honestly we're kind of happy with this. Let's get this repaired. This repaired. How close are we to automatic repairs? A little bit of a ways away. Not necessarily the end of the world. Okay. Rover's idle. Broken rover. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Let's go and let's go and explore. Let's go and explore you. I would really love the opportunity to explore the broken rover. Let's make it happen. Okay, and then also let's get back to extracting. Like we've, or uh, should I say mining? We haven't actually mined in like ages. Paint the whole, paint the whole world. Beautiful. Excellent. And actually, speaking of painting the whole world, let's see if we can try and get a mining setup over here for the uh, aluminium. That would be really great. The reason being, if we do this, we can get a single regolith refinery. We can configure you to go aluminium oxide, and then we can go into a smelting furnace right over here. Right over here. And this can make us some aluminium, isn't it? Yeah, it's aluminium. That would be really, really cool. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind, by the way, is that we do output slag. We do output slag from... We do output slag from these machines, or this machine specifically. I can, I can pump you into here. I can pump you into there, and that that would work quite nicely. Can I pump you into there? Yeah, I can pump you into there. So that's going to automatically put all of the slag to be turned into. Well, I mean, it's all of the useless resources are going to be turned into something that is actually like legitimately useful in the form of these uh, these bricks. We do have enough. We do have, we do have plenty of regolith coming through. Uh, actually, that's a complete lie. We don't have plenty of regolith. And now this means that if it's automated... It, are you okay? Okay, I don't understand why... I don't understand why we're not moving through here. Like, this should be completely fine. There we go. Okay, yeah, so all resources. It seems like it just barred... It seems like it just barred regolith, but that's... Honestly, a bit of a shame, because that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. Anyway, we're moving forward to, uh, to automatic... To automatic repair. That's good. My rover is almost at the new rover destination, which is great. Uh, you... Hold on. Hold on. I see. You're only allowed regolith. So apparently this slag is too slaggy. This slag is too slaggy to be uh, to be classified as regolith. Okay. Well, that's my that's my B. That's I see. I see. Video game. You were trying to save me from myself, which is honestly a very valiant thing to do. Uh, let's make a let's make a slag heap. Let's make a slag heap over here. And get that in there. Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. Can I select slag? There we go. Yeah, slag is right there. Beautiful. Okay, and then we need regolith. But then we've we've got regolith here. So can we not get that moved into can we not get that moved into here? Let's maybe increase the priority a little bit. See if that makes uh see if that makes a difference. Beautiful. So apparently, yeah, apparently the slag is just too apparently the slag is too slaggy. Well, I hope this gets built. Let's bump the priority on that a little bit. Okay. Beautiful. You have got no power. Why not? Don't know. I might have deleted it accidentally. Right. Research selected. Automatic repairs. Drones will repair, uh, repair stuff if it's available. Increased mining speed. Electric generator. Give me robot mining speed. Sure. What the heck? What the heck? It's completely fine. Have you made your way to the drone yet? 
or to the broken rover? No, but you are darned, darned close. You're so darned close. Okay. Lots and lots of slag staying over there. Lots and lots of bricks coming through. We got 98 smart concrete bricks. Can I start exporting these? Is there... I mean, that's 500 bricks. A thousand bricks. I mean, I kind of need like a contract that is, you know, less than that, ideally. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter who I supply to. I guess you're... I guess, I, I, I guess 500 bricks is... I guess 500 bricks is okay. Um... I got too active at the moment with you. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's send... Let's send all that we have. Let's send all that we have. 111. That's... It's gonna... It's gonna take a little bit to, like, actually get, um... It's gonna cost us a little bit of... A little bit of cash to actually get a, a single cargo pod down. But I'd like to do it just for the sake of doing it. So the cargo pod arrives on the landing platform. Happy days. And then we load it with 110 thingies of brick. And of course, because I have prioritized the regolith perhaps a little bit too much, uh, we're going to continue to do that for a little while. Now, let's get this area. Ah, I'm going to need to, yeah. Set that all up. Nice. That's an absolute mess. I don't want to do that. And that in there like so. Beautiful. And we'll get some concrete some concrete, some conveyors. Output of you can go over to there. Perfect. Build it all. Brilliant. Okay, the rover is idle. Broken rover. Ah, a small cargo harbor. This is this is what we need. This is exactly what we need. Although unfortunately, uh we we literally just do not have the ability. We just do not have the ability to get don't have the we don't have the ability to get the we don't have the ability to get the resources over to where we need them to be which is a shame because we could under normal circumstances repair repair that bit of kit and get that all working let's send you over there sure right okay either way this is looking nice this is looking nice let's reduce the number of mining robots that we've got a little bit because i think we're going to i think we're going to need to get stuff moved upstairs yeah, lots of repairs. Lots of repairs are in order. Deprioritize this yet again. Deprioritize that. Not enough power to run the module. Yeah, I know there's not enough power to run the module. But that's presumably because we're waiting for... We're waiting for a whole lot of stuff to be done. Uh, it seems like everybody is, like, absolutely obsessed with... Seems like everybody is absolutely obsessed with supplying regolith to this to this tub here. Uh, that is all literally anyone is doing. I don't know why, but I feel like that may be a bug. Uh, can I destroy you? There we go. Okay, I think... I think that may... Yeah, I think that may have fixed things. I don't know why, but everybody was just absolutely hellbent on supplying that regolith tub with as much flipping regolith as possible. Either way, that's that... That's that fixed. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is all looking good with the exception of the fact that this still isn't built yet. That's a little bit, that's a little bit of a frustration. But that's okay. We're getting 110 of our bricks through here, which is quite nice. We still have, like, loads and loads of bricks. I mean, we better have loads and loads of bricks. It's because everybody, it's because everybody was trying to supply all the bricks with all, with all the stuff. How's our, how's our slag container looking? It's looking empty, actually. It's looking surprisingly empty. Yeah, nothing, nothing too problematic there. Uh, yeah, this is this is looking this is looking nice. I can't build that. I don't know why I'm even bothering to try. Uh, that's all looking good. I think we built. I think we built pretty much everything that we. I think we built pretty much everything that we possibly can, at least for uh, for now. Um, we're actually going to wrap things up there, ladies and gents. This is a great game. As I say, play through the campaign, uh, watch a little bit of the, watch a little bit, some of the fantastic cutscenes, actually. It's really, really good. This is obviously just a snapshot. It is the demo beta 0 0.4.67 or whatever. It's very, very early. 
is very, very early. And uh, and I anticipate that there is going to be so much more stuff coming. I really can't wait. It is going to be it's going to be brilliant. Uh, it's it's already a great game. I can't wait to see more of it. I can't wait to play more of it. Oh boy, it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now and from me, I'll catch you next time. Bye.